Hi, welcome to Snakes and Adders. This is the first in a new series of educational videos that we decided to do. Maybe to try and help you weave your way through deciding what species to work with, or if you just want a bit more information on certain groups and types of snakes. So the first group that we're going to discuss today are the North American rat snakes. See, rat snakes are a massive family, one of nature's success stories. They spread through North America, Central America, Europe and Asia. They're, they're, they've got really widespread loads and loads of species, far too many to discuss on a Facebook video. So the species that we're going to look at or the groups that we're going to look at today are the Gattatus group and the Obsoleta group. So the first species, not many people uh, even realise is a rat snake when they come into the shop. You know, they know that they've got to ask for one because that's what they've been told is the perfect start snake. And they're not wrong, um, but they make no connection to being the rat snake family. And that's the corn snake, also known as the red rat snake. It's got strongholds in Carolina and Florida, available in a myriad of colours, incredibly hardy and tame, and quite rightfully recommended as the perfect beginner snake. They mature to about four and a half feet long. Uh, as full-grown animals, they'll take adult mice without any issues, sometimes small wiener rats. Uh, they don't require masses of uh, temperature manipulation to get them to breed once they're adults. And that's partially to do with how many generations deep we are into the captive breed in the corn snakes now. Uh, once upon a time, we would have had to overwinter them quite heavily, but through the subsequent generations, there's been less and less need for that to happen. Uh, there are... There's two more snakes within that group uh, that are relatively commonly available. One is the Great Plains Rat Snake and the other one is the Rosy Rat Snake. Also perfect beginner species as well, grow to a similar adult size, although the Great Plains Rat Snake is slightly heavier built. Uh, the latter two aren't available in all the different colour types. You might get one or two moss rather than the, the literally hundreds and hundreds of uh, genetic colour and pattern mutations that you can get with corn snakes. Um, the second group that we're going to discuss is the Obsoleta group, which is a bigger group than the Gattats group. And within that, we have got black rat snakes, Texas rat snakes, yellow rat snakes, Everglades rat snakes, grey rat snakes, Gulf hammock rat snakes, the Kurtz rat snakes. These are, I would say, medium-sized colubrid snakes. So they are going to be anything from five feet to seven feet. Maximum recorded size for a black rat snake is a little over eight foot, which sounds huge, but the likelihood of you actually getting one in captivity is incredibly low. You'd be more likely to hit around the six, six and a half feet mark. If handled regularly from birth, they're totally tame. They're never quite as naturally um, calm as the corn snake. But that said, they still make a perfectly good start species. They are beautiful in their own right. Uh, they are blotched as babies and some of the species will retain those blotches, adding depth and shade to those blotches so they become much prettier over time. So think of them kind of like ugly ducklings that blossom as they grow. Uh, grey rat snakes in particular, you just think of a grey and cream and white snake and it doesn't sound that exciting. But if you see a good one, especially a type called the light oak grey rat snake, they're stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, the Everglades and yellow rat snakes are both going to stripe out. So their pattern um, metamorphoses over time from a blotch snake into stripes. So that's always interesting to see the transition as well. And as adults, you can't even see where the blotches were. You just literally see the adult striping. Uh, again, they're going to feed readily. They don't really require any way in the extra of humidity. 30 degrees during the day, 24 degrees at night. They're going to need a bigger viv. So maybe as an adult, we'd need a four foot viv rather than a three foot viv. Um, but you shouldn't really have any issues. Some of them, especially the black rat, which occurs farther north, to encourage that to breed, you may need to go cooler in winter. It's always worth looking at where these animals originate from within the United States because it's such a vast country that the temperature ranges from maximum daytime high to evening low is huge between, uh, say, Oregon and New Mexico, you know, uh, so it's it's that north-south split that changes everything. Uh, so yeah, I, I wouldn't keep them together. Uh, I would never cohabit snakes permanently. Uh, they've got good appetites. If they smell mouse on another animal, they may well have a go at it. Um, you're going to feed it once a week. You generally they have got reasonably quick metabolism, so you're going to get a poo once or twice a week. Always spot check the tank to keep it clean. 
good husbandry, general maintenance, full clean out maybe every six weeks. You've got uh, a thermostat, whether that's controlling a heat pad or a bulb. Um, a heat pad will suffice for babies, but when we're talking about bigger rat snakes at six feet plus, I personally would be tempted to move on to spot bulbs and have them on a dimmer stat, just because they are they are quite muscly snakes and the pads aren't brilliant at heating straight through that. If it's in a racking system, maybe, but generally most of the beginner keepers that this video is intended for are going to be keeping them in vivariums because it's a pet, they want it on display, so yeah, it'd probably be better having it on bulb. I hope the video has been useful as an introduction and uh, yeah, we'll try and keep them coming. Uh, we're going to do a few different groups, but yeah, so have a look up for uh, your rat snakes, do your research, always research an animal before purchase, and we'll see you soon.